Before I call this meeting McCall, to order, I would like to yes. note yeah, like no for the record that I will serve as the acting chairman of this meeting. I now call to order the meeting of the directors of the Statewide Local Development Corporation for Thursday, June 18th, 2015. The directors have received their written materials in advance of this meeting. They are free to ask questions at any time. The public is free to ask questions and comment on items on the agenda within the time limit specified on the agenda posted to the internet. The first item on today's agenda is the approval of the minutes of the April 8th, 2015 directors meeting. Do we have any co questions, comments, additions, or deletions from that set of minutes? If not, I will entertain a motion for approval. Motion. Second. Here. Aye. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Thank you very much. Uh, Ray uh, uh, Salveras will present the remaining item on the agenda. Ray, please present the Modern Marketing Concept Incorporated item. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mahou. Good morning to the directors. This report to the directors concerns a proposed New York Job Development Authority loan to LDCS for the amount of $5 million. The $5 million loan is to be used toward the purchase of real estate and the renovation of an existing facility located in Binghamton, New York. Total project cost is $17 million. LDCS is a real estate holding company established in 2006 by Daniel and Lisa Babcock to purchase and renovate real estate in Binghamton, New York for the benefit of modern marketing concepts. LDCS currently owns one 75,000 square foot property located at 29 Industrial Park Drive in Binghamton, New York, and its sole tenant is Modern Marketing Concepts. Upon completion of the project, Modern Marketing Concepts will relocate to the renovated facility at 265 Industrial Park Drive and pay rent to LDCS. LDCS will then rent out 29 Industrial Park Drive to a new tenant. Founded in 1986, Modern Marketing Concepts is a global sales optimization company that provides marketing, technology, sales, and fulfillment services to its clients. The company integrates its clients' world-class brands with data, technology, and exceptional people to produce measurable sales goals for the clients. Using data-driven, digitally focused, multi-channel campaigns, the company produces over one billion in direct sales for its clients annually. The project includes the acquisition of 265 Industrial Park by LDCS and extensive renovation of that building. The completed project will have modern marketing serve as the anchor tenant. Renovations to include asbestos removal, curtain walls modification, and exterior renovations. Electrical HVAC upgrades for multi-tenant fit out. The building at 265 Industrial Park has a footprint that re requires sizable repair, but holds value as a multi-tenant corporate service park. It easily holds 1,000 employees has secured parking and contains additional infrastructure that once repaired can continue well into the century as a leading option for greater Binghamton corporations and employees. The facility will give modern marketing concepts the ability to complete with, uh, to, excuse me, to compete with other world-class employers and allow the company to partner with state and local educational institutions such as Binghamton University, Cornell, Ithaca, and Cortland State to find and hire the best students in the region and beyond. ESD staff perform a site visit on April 14th and 15th to tour the existing operations and the proposed facility to be acquired and to speak to Dan Babcock about the JDA loan request and the proposed use of the properties. Binghamton, New York, like many upstate communities, has lost a significant portion of its manufacturing jobs in recent decades. The region's defense-based employers, such as Lockheed Martin, were forced to reduce the size of their workforce as federal defense spending was cut. Meanwhile, high-tech employers, including IBM and Indicot Interconnect, have also reduced employment significantly in the region. The manufacturing decline has contributed to the city's high rates of unemployment and poverty compared to statewide averages. The city's annual unemployment rate was 6.3% in 2014 compared to 5.8% for the state as a whole. The JDA loan of $5 million will be part of a total New York State offer of $10.8 million for the project, including a $5 million grant and up to $800,000 of tax credits. The JDA staff and the JDA Finance Committee acknowledge the risks posed by the LDCS loan. However, as outlined throughout the report, these factors are mitigated. Additionally, 
In recommending approval by the directors, the JDA staff and the JDA Finance Committee are mindful of the JDA's mission and statutory goals of the JDA Act, mainly creation of jobs throughout the state. Although this is a very risky request, JDA staff and the JDA Finance Committee are recommending approval by the statewide directors based in no small part on the job creation numbers that the proposed project will be produced and the overwhelming positive impact these jobs will have on the Southern Tier region of New York State. Uh, thank you. Are there any questions? Great. Any questions from the directors? Ready to have a prospective tenants for the current space that they're moving out of the 29 industrial park? Not yet, but they're in the process of, they have a, a real estate broker who is marketing the property. And that former space was 75,000 square feet. Yes. They'll be occupying up to 150,000 square feet, maybe even more. Yes. yes. They have the new facility. They, they currently, they, right now, the, they currently have 310 full-time employees working out of the current facility. Um, but they're all crammed in. It's a tight facility right now. We, we walk to this facility. It's very tight. Parking is limited, so employees don't have enough parking for the needs. Um, the idea is the new project is going to generate an additional 592 full-time jobs five years after loan disbursement. So they're going to need the space to, to put these new employees that are coming on board. The rent, the annual rents for the current tenants, $500,000 a year for 100,000 square feet. If my math is right, that's $5 a square foot. Okay. That, 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 well, yeah, that's, that's, that's upstate New York. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say it's Binghamton as a whole. I would just say that generally upstate New York. Yeah. In fact, in, in Lockport, in, in Niagara, their space is going at $3.85 a square foot for a manufacturing space in downtown Lockport. Now, obviously, downtown Lockport is a very distressed community, and they just want people in there. So, but upstate in general, outside of Albany, from what I found, outside of Albany and some parts of Buffalo, real estate prices are really the, um, depressed upstate. And is that triple net, net, you know? Yes, the, but the, the my, net. triple net lease. Five dollars yes. square foot, yep. three dollars and change, triple net. Yeah. L3 is a long-term tenant. They actually used to, 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 to rent out the whole facility. So they've right. been there for a long time, and um, their, their rent effect reflect that, basically. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, I mean, this is just the potential for this project with, you know, six, almost 600 new jobs in Southern Tiers impact would be huge. Yes. So weighing that against the, you know, potential risk of our five or not alone, um, you know, seems like potentially a great project. So, and I can, I'll note that for the record that Commissioner Zemsky met with the leadership of this company and went to the site as well. Yes, that's right. Uh, thought for himself, so, um, and we'll consider that along with the JDA board. Okay. Um, are there any comments from the public with regard to this item? If not, I'll entertain a motion for approval. Motion. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, any opposed? Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray. Team. Um, there being no further business, may I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? Motion. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.